What's up? All right, we're going to continue here on uh, Let's Play Metal Arms Part 14. I've checked, me. I think it's 14, so I left off, and uh, I'm in... I, I think it's infiltrating the compound. Okay, I'm just about to get attacked by a few uh, rivet grunts, which are actually, in my opinion, probably the most dangerous grunts. A lot of people argue with that, but uh, I don't care, because I don't see a lot of flamethrower holding grunts in uh, single player. I'm sure they exist. In fact, I think they're gray. But, um, it doesn't matter. Even them I can handle pretty good. So you have to destroy these. This place is, like, held down by, like, a laser shield of some kind. So you gotta break these generators. But I'm kind of there. I knew you were here somewhere. Keep your health up. Good idea. What the hell is he doing? This game, the shotgun, you can actually shoot off into the distance. It's not wise, but it works. Okay, he's immune to bullets. So, I'm gonna get an upgrade here that you probably you cannot get if you screwed up earlier in the game. Uh, if you don't get the free scope in the They Live, uh, when I go in here, I think Mr. Er, Shady and Mr. Pockets are in here. And, uh, hold on a second. There's some grunts. I was not- No, 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 right happens here, I apologize. If you didn't get them, uh, the free scope, these dudes are gonna give you a scope. And what happens is, uh, it upgrades your current scope if you have one, but if you don't, it just gives you the one you got for free. Boy, are we glad you showed up. We got caught trying to jack some spare parts for the Rebellion. On our way, we spotted some Class 5 power generators. We could help you take them out. By the way, you need a scope? Here you go. It's a little used, but it'll manage. Just wipe that uh, oil off the lens there. Oil is funny because it's their blood. So, yeah, if you didn't pick this up, you can't get this, which is like the scope level 3. And uh, it gains an extra zoom in, which is good, especially for later sniping. And uh, apparently it's a it increases your weapon's accuracy. That I was not aware of, but it's in the description. I should read more. See, so you can really zoom in now. As you saw from me getting stuck in the wall there. There, I swear I'm missing something, and I feel bad because I don't, I don't want to miss anything, but there's no way I'm going to do a near-perfect run. There, it's probably over here. Bitch, we got incoming. Take yeah, they'll, find, they'll be fine. The Titan will kill them, there's no question. Yeah, look at the Titan. If a uh, Titan can't fit through a door, he has to like hunker down, and you get him looking like that, like a turtle. I'm gonna let them handle this, cause I'm a wuss, and they're gonna be good at this. I'm not. The Titans didn't seem to care about them either, so... Oh, they've got rocket launchers, well that's good, that's good. Uh, your best bet is just to sit back and shoot rippers at him. Crippling a Titan is probably the easiest way to kill him, and the safest by all standards. Ah, look at the legs. Just cripple him and back off, that's my motto here. Hold on a sec. And I am recording, so we are good. Let's keep moving. Yeah, these guys are pretty spectacular, considering uh, most grunts die, or most, like, normal droid guys just die within, like, a few seconds. I don't know what a servo is, but, uh, open the door. Oops. Wasn't supposed to cut that <laughs> wire. Alright. Again, yeah, if you haven't noticed, all milks or was the Titans are, like, standard. They're, ho they're open game right now for enemies. I've crippled his legs. And I think his arm. He's killing himself more than I'm doing damage to him right now. See, the turret is awful for killing Titans. All you can do really is cripple their arms and legs and stuff, and they can't shoot at you. So they, like, use that rocket launcher, which I'm about to bail out of. So I wouldn't be surprised now if all my grunts are dead, or my little dudes. I don't know if they're called droids. Droids suck in this game, I hate to say it. There's one, but he's retarded. Yeah, droids are awful. They die incredibly fast. They serve no purpose other than to, like, just kind of be kill fodder. An easier, better idea would have been to throw a grenade in there. I didn't do that. Kinda wish I did. Because I'll kill that dude who sounds the alarm on me. 
Start using my Coring Charges more. Yeah, Coring Charges never lose effectiveness through the entire game. Even when, like, the game gets really crazy and, like, later in the game when you're fighting bigger enemies, if you can believe that, and the Coring Charges are still... I think it's because they're overpowered at the beginning of the game, so they can, like, you know, segue into them being underpowered? I don't know. Either way, there's generators here, but I'm gonna show you a pretty sweet secret that I only learned a little while back. Uh, come on, up. So, this is something I learned just through my random platforming adventures, which I love to take, or I used to love to do as a kid. I just used to explore every nook and cranny. Platforming games were my thing. Uh, I think it's over here? No, it's the other way. Anyway, there's a secret chip up here, which is a plus for any explorer, but, uh, what else is up here is more important than that, and you're going to see me get it in a few seconds, if I can find um, who I'm looking for. It doesn't matter. Okay. So... Okay, I feel like there's guys in there, but I'm not exactly sure. Alright, here it is. So, this is why I didn't buy my mining laser upgrade, even when it was cheap. You can get a secret chip here, and a free mining laser. So, the mining laser is still really crappy, I'm not going to stop that. It it's yellow now and it shoots a bit faster the only upside now is if you don't if you hold the button down a bit you can charge it and kind of like shotgun it which is fine but still doesn't make it any more useful I don't know it's it's still it, it makes it it's still worth getting right I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it like I wouldn't pay for it save your like washers but it's totally worth you know scoring for free right why can't I make this jump I don't know no skills today. There we go. So, long story short, blow these up. I think there's actually mills in the middle of them. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A clip doesn't blow up a generator? That'll just tell you how it does on, like, a normal mill enemy, right? And that blows up the generator, and you can walk in and not find any dudes. I don't know. This guy's a trooper. Look at him. I have max respect for this little guy. They usually die in, like, a quarter of a second. These guys lobbing grenades like it's nobody's business. And I killed my trooper. That's what I do. Either way. Yeah, again, work your rocket launcher now in the game. Because, I mean, before it's kind of stupid. But now it has a quick reload. Strong damage. It's everyone's favorite gun. Your spew and your shot, your rocket launcher are probably going to be your best bet. I mean, not the... Oh, you, of course your rivet gun too, but I mean like... Um, Effectiveness-wise, I think there's something pretty lame over here. So I'm just going to go and uh, try to do this ASAP. I knew it! He just walks out! Terminator style. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay, I'm out of rocket launcher, so I'm going to do it like this. If you don't have the rocket launcher, take advantage of Glitch being able to shoot and throw at the same time. There we go. I think there's something else over here, but I don't recall. Just health if you need it and coring charges, I guess. If I'm missing something, I'm going to be ticked off later, but it's cool. Grab the rocket launcher. I believe weapon upgrades get incredibly cheaper as uh, you progress through the game, right? So, um, I remember a little secret here. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, no, um, weapon upgrades get progressively cheaper through the game. So, uh, if you miss that, like, free upgrade I just showed you, it'll probably be, like, 50 washers if you go to buy it now. But, you can rather not spend $50, right? So, okay, something secret in here. Uh, not really secret, but you need to do it. So, go up to this machine. And I think you only get one of these guys, so take advantage of them as much as freakishly possible. Uh, again, periodically through the game, you're actually going to get uh, like these sections where you have to... I don't know how they knew it was me, because that's weird, because I don't think they're supposed to know. Anyway, you're going to get these sections where you have to take over like a mill. When you're all crippled, just run in and chuck grenades. That didn't work. Oh, it's one of these. If you're lucky, you get an infinite spawn one. I'm going to try to finish this level up in this part, though, so I don't want to do any more. I'm going to do one more level, but I have to go to work in a bit, so. 
guys don't respawn, so you just keep going. And you can respawn, they can't. So just go crazy with it, especially with this Titan. Just go nuts with him. Don't cut him any slack. Hey, I got him. Score. And I still have a working arm. Never mind. Okay, uh, ooh. I have plenty of time. Alright. So we're gonna sneak off. By the way, fun, like, something to note. Almost every grunt in this game who has a weapon has a level 3 version of the weapon, except the rocket launcher grunt. The only enemy in the game that gets a level 3 version of this gun is actually the Titan. And for good reason. He is a beast. Actually, hold on, let me just do this now. You have to do that, but, um... There's a secret somewhere, and I don't remember how to do this properly, but I think if you... Yeah, there's a secret chip up there. I could probably make that jump anyway. Regardless, kill yourself, because when you're controlling your grunt, that doesn't mean he's on your team. If you, like, exit this machine, he'll still be there, and he'll still be really, really pissed off. Um, anything in here to note? I don't recall. I'm fairly certain I've missed a secret chip already, but, uh, there's not a lot we can do about that now, is there? Okay, get the plethora of washers, because they always come in handy. Especially later when you're paying for big upgrades, like rocket launcher level 3s and stuff. But I, I actually, I'm not going to buy that in this game, because I know where to find it. So if you don't know where to find it, uh, keep watching, because I'm going to show you. It's going to save you a buttload of money, and it's probably going to be the best gun ever. And that wraps up this level. Let's see how we did. I don't recall what the next level is, but I might do one more before I have to get ready. Alright. Speed chip. Oh, look at that. 100% on that level. That's how I roll. So that wraps up the Let's Play Metal Arms Part 14. Join me in Part 15, where we continue the game. I don't recall what the next level is. Alright, bye-bye.